Everybody say a prayer for me. Yes, I do. Do you? All right, guys, we got Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is back in the theater, and I was really looking forward to this movie. It's been quite a long time since I've seen him in the theater, and I am a big fan. So how did he do in The Foreigner? Well, my name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Foreigner. I really do appreciate it. Before I get into the review, help your boy out. Go ahead and take your mouse or your finger if you're looking on the phone and click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell so you can be notified and also give me a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Now, The Foreigner. It's crazy because um, when, you know, I've always been in the movies, but when I really, really started getting in the movies back in like 2009, 2010, I was like watching every trailer, every TV spot, etc. But I did not see any trailers for this movie. I mean, I heard everybody reacting about it and I saw some TV spots here and there kind of like in the in the background, you know, as, as I'm just kind of walking by the TV and stuff. But, you know, when I first heard people talking about the trailer, I told myself, like, I don't want to see any more trailers. I'm a martial arts fan. I'm a Jackie Chan fan. You know, I want to go into this, you know, with somewhat lower expectations just so I can, you know, have a good time. Because like I said in my intro, I haven't seen Jackie Chan in the theater in a while. And also, I haven't seen really a martial arts movie in the theater in a while, too. But I just said martial arts. And I want to make a note there because this is not a martial arts film. Uh, there is fighting in it, but there this is not a martial arts film. So if you're going to want if you want to see the foreigner and you're going in with those expectations, please pull those expectations back and or throw them away because you will be uh, slightly disappointed. I don't want you to be disappointed. I want you to have a good time. But Jackie Chan, I mean, my goodness gracious, this guy has been in everything. I mean, he's been acting for so long, late 60s, uh, or early 70s, I believe. I think he's like 61, 62 years old and he can still backflip off walls. And I'll get to that as far as the movie is concerned. But I mean, my goodness, I mean, you know, he's done um, uh, 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 what, what I can't think of it, a police story, uh, Rumble in the Bronx, um, you know, Drunken Master, Legend of a Drunken Master, uh, of course, Rush Hour, you know, 1911. What else has he done? He's done a Mr. Nice Guy, a police story. Who am I? And if you've seen that movie in the 90s, you know what I'm talking about. When one of my favorite movies that he did was back in like, I think, 73, 74 called Fearless Hyena. He was real young then. I mean, that is some serious kick butt martial arts, kung fu, kung fu action. So if you just want some old school kind of Shaw Brothers type, you know, fighting, go check that out. I do recommend it. But Jackie Chan is, you know, he's the man. I love the guy to death. He just seems so nice. He seems so humble. So, of course, I was really looking forward to this movie. And, um, you know, like I said, this is not a martial arts movie. Um, and, well, you know, I, I'll get to that in a second. But actually, this movie is um, it's being directed by Martin Campbell. And I don't know if you know who Martin Campbell is, but uh, he's worked with Pierce Brosnan before, who also is starring in this movie. And, you know, they were a duo director and actor in GoldenEye that came out, I think, in like 95 or 96. And he also they also paired. Well, no, I don't think Martin Campbell. Well, no. I think Martin Campbell also did direct Casino Royale and um, that did not have Pierce Brosnan in it. It had Daniel Craig and I like that movie too. So, you know, going into this, I was like, okay, you know, this may be pretty good. I like Golden Eye. I like uh, Casino Royale, very good movies. But then I also realized, I, I remembered that Martin Campbell directed Green Lantern that came out in 2011. And we all know how that movie turned out. It was, um, you know, a piece of crap, just, you know, to say the least or whatever. Which is unfortunate because the director was completely oblivious when the film was getting ripped to shreds. He was just like, I don't understand why people don't like it. I mean, we have action. We have a good actor. Well, we think we have a good script. I mean, he seems like a genuinely nice guy. I, I, I remember listening to that interview back in 2010. Um, you know, I, I remember I got the interview from Collider.com. Um, which is now owned by Complex, unfortunately, because but anyway, um, our, he's a nice guy and Martin Campbell, the director. And I was just like, you know, man, he's a part of uh, the foreigner. I don't know how this is going to turn out because the the um, what is that? The Green Lantern was so bad that he hasn't directed a movie since. 
And that was six years ago. He's done a couple of TV movies, but I guess no one wanted to give him, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars or millions of dollars at that to uh, have a crap uh, in the theaters again. But, you know, he did do uh, The Foreigner. And, um, you know, of course, I don't want to spoil anything for you now, but I will I will talk about it that towards the end of the review. But The Foreigner, what it is about is Jackie Chan. Um, is a man that has a daughter and of course he loves his daughter and this when they're out living their life just trying to have a normal day a bomb goes off and his daughter unfortunately dies and he's distraught he's upset and he wants revenge and of course you can relate to that i mean you really can i mean i don't have any children i don't have a son or a daughter but you know if someone close to me not only died but got blown away you know like such a cowardly terrorist attack i'm gonna be pretty f- pissed off and want to bust some heads open so immediately you are already on board with jackie chan as soon as this movie starts but i'm going to um talk about something that i did not like about the beginning and that is is how you get to relate to jackie chan because immediately you he just seems like such a warm loving a uh, heart you know excuse me uh, a very warm loving father to his daughter but when the crap hits the fan and his daughter passes away I didn't think the film did a great job or the direction by Martin Campbell of portraying how frustrated and upset and distraught Jackie Chan was in the moment of tragedy. They really did not show him, you know, scream out in anger or mourn. You know, I mean, that's just I mean, that's just really something that the director took away from the audience was that reaction, you know, of seeing his daughter being blown to bits. I mean, it was kind of it's at the very beginning of the movie and it kind of traditions out of that scene and came back a little abruptly. And I really didn't like that. I kind of just kind of turned my head to the side like, wow, they could have did that a lot better. And yes, later on in the movie, we did get to see how upset and uh, troubled uh, Jackie Chan was. And I'm not going to try to pronounce his uh, movie name in here because I just can't pronounce it. But, you know, that is something that I noticed early on in the film that they could have done a little bit better. Um, this movie is also being described as an action thriller, um, and I don't agree with those um, at all. Because to be honest with you, even you know, I, I will say at least that the the film is at least entertaining. Of course, I'll give my rating at the end, but there really isn't that much action, and there really isn't like a thrill either. There there was no point to where I was like, oh my gosh, get away, or you know, like you know whatever i i just wasn't thinking that way there was just no i don't want to say there was just no sense of urgency but i really didn't feel like there was a sense of danger throughout the whole movie i mean i kind of felt that jackie chan would always win he would escape there was not a point to where i was like oh my gosh jackie what are you going to do how are you going to get out of this situation you know i'm it, it just i never had that feeling this whole time and during those times where i should have had those feelings i was laughing instead um laughing because the movie was funny there um you know Jackie Chan's character is, and I want to I want to com- compare this to a lot of films. This movie, The Foreigner, it is a revenge film. It is a revenge plot. Something happened bad to a person, and of course, they want revenge. The first movie that popped in my mind while I was watching this movie, and as I'm talking to you now, was John Wick. Of course, John Wick wants revenge too, and I don't want to compare those films because the tones are completely different. But I'm still going to compare them. And the reason why is is John Wick, even before his dog was killed and he just went crazy and wanted to go back to his past life of a known assassin. Before that, you knew that John Wick had some skills. You knew that he was an assassin. You knew that he can kick butt. He just looked the part. That is not the case with Jackie Chan's role in this movie. And I like that a lot. I mean, because he just seems like. Just just a man that just, you know, a, a normal family man that goes to work, picks his daughters up for school, goes to soccer practice, you know, wants to bake a cake on the weekends and just like, hey, you know, I, I, I'm just an innocent little guy with a family. I'm not over the top. I'm not all spectacles and dazzles and glitter everywhere. And I'm not, I'm not some super swole guy. I'm working out in the gym. It's nothing like that. He just seems like a normal plain Jane guy that just you know does the normal bits of life every day like all of us and i really did like that and that helped me as an audience member relate to his character more and sympathize with him in his moment of tragedy i couldn't relate to john wick at all i'm not some master assassin with guns everywhere and etc so even though i mean those movies are completely different there is some similarities as far as they're both being a revenge plot but while i did love john wick 
as far as him always being portrayed as assassin, I still really did love, well, not love, I still really did like a lot The Foreigner and their portrayal of Jackie Chan's role and him just trying to be a, you know, a loving father. But of course, what was what was funny in the movie, while this is an action thriller, was just how patient he was when he was trying to get answers. Because there is a known, there's a politician by, you know, uh, played by Pierce Brosnan. And he goes on TV and he talks about the bombing. But Jackie, you, you find out that Jackie Chan is just not some normal guy, that he has a past. And I don't even want to say a dark past because if I say dark past, that kind of feels like he was in the driver's seat. He just has a past that was dark about a bunch of bull crap that happened to him. But as he's, he's watching this uh, politician, and I, I promise you, I'm not spoiling the movie. I promise you. As he's watching this politician, you know, on TV, he's like, you know what? I feel that that guy can get answers. You know, I've tried to do this the legal way, the justice way, and I, I'm not getting what I want. These are terrorists. They need to be brought, you know, in and, and punished or whatever. And he's trying to do that through the normal legal channels. But, you know, he's, he's not getting anywhere, you know, and of course, he's not patient. And no, who, who would be patient? I mean, if you lose your daughter, you want the bad guys to be caught just like that. So when he sees Pierce Brosnan on TV, you know, that's who he wants to go to. And that is the premise of the movie. And I, I, I'm not going to say anymore because I don't want to spoil it for you. And I didn't spoil anything here. Now, the movie can be divided into two sections. You can have the Jackie Chan part over here where he's doing his Jackie Chan things and investigating and studying this and studying that with sprinkles of action everywhere. But then you have this political uh, drama with excessive dialogue with a bunch of Irishmen that don't have the best Irish accents. They try to bounce back and forth between those two. And sometimes they do meld together quite well. But at other times, I'm like, okay, guys, I really don't care about this story. Um, I, I barely can understand what you're saying. And, you know, the dialogue that is going on between these characters is kind of hard to follow. You don't know who is who. You don't know who to trust. And, of course, you're not supposed to know who to trust towards the end of the movie. But it's just, it, it's just too much. I mean, I, I want to have my people that I, I'm with and that I'm rooting for. And of course, you know, I want to have those people that, you know, I'm against or I'm not too sure of, but it was just too much of that. But going back to Jackie Chan or whatever, you know, the little bit of action that he did portray on screen was great. You know, this is not, like I said, this is not an action movie. And in my opinion, this is not a martial arts movie. Definitely. You know, there's maybe three scenes, maybe four total of action. And it was very brief. You know, but I like that. I mean, in real life, Jackie Chan is, a, you know, a hard, badass martial artist. I mean, the dude is like cold, but you wouldn't know that because he's so humble. But I mean, like if rest in peace, Bruce Lee. But if Bruce Lee was still alive today and Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee were to fight, hands down, 100 percent, my money would go to Bruce Lee. I know that may piss off a lot of you and like, Brandon, you know, what are you talking about? If you want to have a debate, hey, leave a comment. We can have a debate and I can list some facts and receipts and et cetera. But I say all that to say is as far as the action and, and a little bit of martial arts in this movie, I like that Jackie Chan, even though we know he knows martial arts, he is not playing the role of a just grandmaster martial artist. He's just playing a role of somebody that can fight. I won't tell you why he can fight, but you just have to see the movie. And that's great. And like one thing that I always like about Jackie Chan movies is that in his like usually in martial art fighting movies, the 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 protagonist, the hero, the good guy, he's always flawless. Like he never really gets beat up. He just goes through just kind of like psh, 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 just beating up everybody. And it's just with ease until like the final boss level 10 at the end of the movie. Jackie Chan movies are not like that. He gets beat. He, while he does beat people up, he does get beat up in his movies as well. And that is exactly the same of what we got here. Yeah, he was able to whoop on some people, but he also kind of got stabbed and shot and beat on a little bit, too. And I just like that. And it just makes his characters feel more human instead of like some just terminator assassin that can just beat everybody. And that's just another great way that you can, you know, relate to his character. And as he's trying to investigate and go through the movie and go throughout the movie and the plot and the story 
and just kind of find out what's going on little by little by little he just peels back layers of this character and you just kind of see how raw this guy is at first it's like okay man you know where did you learn that trick you know maybe you got that off a a youtube video or google and i'm exaggerating a little bit but as the story progresses on you you just see more and more like man this dude really does have skills like who was this guy way back in the day i mean where did he come from like who taught him you know this stuff is kind of amazing but that's kind of a gripe about the film because they barely touched on that they barely touched on his background. They kind of gave a lot, a line of dialogue or two in the first act towards the beginning of the film, like where he's from. And then they kind of gave a flashback scene of a tragedy that happened to him a while ago. But, you know, they didn't really delve into too much of where he came from. I mean, that could have possibly been done on purpose. And some people may appreciate that because sometimes mystery is better and sometimes less is more. So, I mean, in that front, if that's what you like, that's what you like. But for me, when I was watching, I did kind of want to see a little bit more from his background and what he was all about. But Jackie Chan's role was great as a character. Um, You know, I did appreciate it. Pierce Brosnan was pretty good, too, other than his Irish accent. And the action was good, too, when it was on screen. But it was just kind of sprinkled in and out everywhere. But you know, and it's not, I don't have a problem with the plot of the film or the story of the film, just kind of where the film focused. And I just feel that it focused too much on, you know, th- these rogue agencies and government and this, you know, sect over here and this cult over here and, you know, them and the IRA and the worthy enthusiastic IRA. And, you know, it was you betrayed us. So you, your group betrayed us. I don't even know who groups are. I mean, they keep jumping back and forth from different town to different towns, showing you subtitles trying to let you know what the location is i mean i was kind of getting some of the characters mixed up i mean i understood as i was walking out the theater but as i was watching i was just kind of like you know what i wish i was seeing something else i wish i was seeing jackie chan right now and you know he would pop back on screen periodically and when he did it was great you know but uh and it could have possibly been my expectations as well you know because i kind of did go into this like yeah I want to see Jackie Chan kick a lot of butt or whatever. And even like I said this two or three times already. Yes, he did kick butt, but I wish he could have kicked a lot more butt. Um, But overall, guys, the film is entertaining. I don't want to just sit in here and say that there were parts that were boring because there was not. But it was just, you know, uh, it was a good film, but it could have been uh, a lot better in my opinion. But I still enjoyed it. And I think you will, too. Um, you know, you don't have to go pay $12 to see it, but you know, I do think it's definitely worth you seeing in a theater, especially if you already wanted to see this movie. And before I give my rating, I just want to try to see if there's one more thing that I can talk about because I feel like there is something that I'm leaving out, but, um, actually I do remember something just actually the plot itself. It just kind of did get a little convoluted towards the end. And there was um, a notion that came over me to where I was kind of like, you know, uh, what was the point of all this? Um, and, you know, it revealed my it revealed itself. But at the same time, as far as sitting in a the theater and trying to enjoy it, you know, smoothly, there are a lot of questions that you're probably going to ask yourself that you may get an answer later or you may not. But I still enjoyed the film. If I had to rate The Foreigner out of a 1 out of 10, I would rate it a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, a 7.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. What did you think of The Foreigner? Or have you seen it? Do you want to see it? Do you not want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Become one of my subscribers so you can get all my content. Click the bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. You can also go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark it. I do have written reviews and I will have a written review for this as well. And guys, you can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I really made it easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Foreigner. Starring Jackie Chan, Pierce Brosnan, and directed by Martin Campbell. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.